And now a News Nation economy alert for you. Some bad news for beer drinkers. A key ingredient used to make your favorite brews proving hard to come by. A shortage of carbon dioxide. It's a prime component, and it's leaving brewers out to dry. News Nation's Sloan Glass joining us once again. So Sloan, on top of the CO2 shortage, one of the nation's largest gas production hubs also facing a major hiccup. Yeah, Nicole, they just can't seem to catch a break. The supply chain has been a familiar pandemic era headache, and now we're facing a carbon dioxide shortage, along with a contamination issue at one of the nation's largest gas production hubs. And unfortunately for beer drinkers, CO2 is the foundation of beer. As for the contamination issue, we reached out to the Denbury Inc., but have not heard back. CO2 doesn't just make the bubbles. It is used throughout the brewing and packaging process. At almost every step, the gas is used. And with a 20% surcharge on carbon dioxide deliveries, it's been really tough for beer makers and drinkers and has them worried. A popular craft brewery in Massachusetts has already cut jobs due to the CO2 shortage. Shortages began in mid-2020 when production of ethanol slowed as more people stayed home. And the ethanol industry supplies 45% of all the domestic carbon dioxide. Our brewers getting frustrated because they can't get product out. Um, you know, so everything, everything bottlenecks. You can't do anything with it. You can't, you know, even if you're not carbonating it using the CO2, you can't move it anywhere else from the tank it's in because there's, there's no pressure to do that. And CO2, not the only issue facing the brewing industry. Train strikes across the Midwest caused delivery delays on already limited supplies. And while no one could go to the bars during the pandemic, the industry sold more beers while we were stuck at home. A study by Columbia University showed alcohol sales increased by 20% from March to September 2020. Good news, right? But the excessive home drinking spiked the demand of aluminum cans and caused prices to soar. And it's not just beer that will suffer from the CO2 shortage. Carbon dioxide is used by the food industry, the oil industry, and is in all carbonated beverages. Nicole. All right, Sloan, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.